<laughs> Hello there, GM Lurch Lurchington here with yet another episode of Star Wars Showdown on Icefall Station. With me as usual are our players and their characters. We've got the Bendu as Jedi Narset Jin. Hello, friends. I hope everyone's having a good weekend. Dan as Captain War of Captain Warham of Ithor. Hey, everyone. <laughs> David as Master Zavik Silverstar. Hey. And as usual. Our host, Kyle, as... Hello there. Gentlemen, if you're ready to begin, let's roll Destiny and see if the Force is with us. Go ahead, head. Two dark side, three dark side. Oh, man, this is like last night. Ooh. Oh, never mind. Zeef turning the tide. Two dark, or three dark and two light. What you got for us, Narset? Three and three. All right, the Force is with us and balance. Excellent. Uh, we are on... Slide number 10, gentlemen, uh, in the slideshow, uh, we pick up in the cockpit of uh, what Zeef described as a largish transport bongo. And it's more of a bus than a bongo, really. Uh, while it has, it's more of an eel shape than a manta, uh, with okay. several passenger compartments uh, arrayed within the body along the back as you head back through the structure um, of the bongo, and then again, the sort of tentacle appendages at the rear by the drive system. But Zavix, Zeef, and Warm find themselves seated in the three seats in the front bubble at the nose of this long, sleek, uh, more bust than bongo, frankly, here under, as you weave your way down past the crab town field by the vents here at the shore and head out towards the uh, bottom of the bay. Uh, the water is dark uh, as it is early and the sunlight is not yet reaching through the ice above. Um, but the lights at the front of the craft uh, illuminate it and you make your way here uh, towards the center of the bay where Zeef, you actually triangulated and made a check successfully to, you've got a pretty good idea of Misa thinking it's over here warm uh, to head out there, but uh, you guys are here in the cockpit of your bongo, and you know you're going to be approaching and having to scope out this lab once you get here, you know, in not very few minutes. So any planning you're going to do, you should do now, and then I'll describe the scene as you arrive at the lab. Okay, so Zeef um, takes an initial minute or two to wander back through the, like, the nearest two or three bubbles of, of area behind the cockpit, Kind of like checking in uh, with the different Aqualish, I guess, posse that's that's sort of also being contained in the transport. Sort of shaking hands with people, saying thank you for like you know for helping out with this. Going over the fact that we want to take Sully alive, we want to arrest this guy. He needs to talk. Um, so having having spread that around, he makes his way back up to the cockpit, sits down next between Warm and Zavix, takes a deep Excellent. breath. Excellent. Your posse numbers a dozen. Uh, nice. of the co-workers, cousins, and brothers-in-law of the uh, foreman who's deaf from getting his hands on some of that uncut spice uh, from the city uh, accidentally had spurred this investigation initially. Um, and they're arrayed behind you in four bubbles heading back. Uh, and they all, they all nod and they say, we understand you explain that it's the Selkath fella. And you're like, any of the corn we run into in there you know, just take him down, take him out. But when we reach, you know, the boss, he's mine, and I want to bring him in alive. And they, they say exactly. they understand. Whatever you say, Marshall. You know, you're running the show. Absolutely. They are armed with uh, longshoremen's hooks and blaster pistols. Um, the pole arms might not honestly be the best weapon for inside an underwater Fine prefab structure. structure, but it's Can what I, they have. Uh... Can I do a perception check around the transport to see if there's any old, like, rusty weapons laying around that might be something of an upgrade for the environment if we're going into? If you've got a destiny point you want to spend, they can trade them out for some, like, appropriate I don't know if that's improvised worth a melee weapons point, we instead don't know what we're facing yet. of these hooks. Yeah, I don't know if that's you worth know? a destiny point, because we don't know what we're facing yet. I just thought maybe I could, like, look around to confirm if there were any, but... Yeah, there's that kind of stuff. It's the kind of thing that a destiny point will definitely give you. But if gotcha. you're not willing to commit a destiny point, those racks are empty. 
you know, but you've got Fair racks. Enough. You might have some Huntsman Vibro Spears in them. You, you know, spend a destiny point to make that happen. But uh, as you get closer, uh, Zavix, Warm, you see out of the front, as you approach, a little trail of lights, widely spaced, glowing in the darkness, leading out from the city's docks out here under the bay. And then, eventually, you make your way through some... Uh, rock formations uh, just above the surface and you see a the lab. Uh, it's made of several modules that were brought underwater and they are set on piling above and you can see lights glowing around entrance portals on two of these long tubes. You can see several large modules and other clearly corridors from the outside and what you can see on the map here uh, in that arrangement like is clearly distinct because they were brought down separately and then joined. Gotcha. But it is set up on some pilings like the docks are and that blue square is like a moon pool underneath. Um, and as you approach along the sea bed you can see the glowing square of it lit on the bottom of the central module of this lab and then you can see two at least on the nearest side you can see that a hatch here also has lights around it i gotta move the darkness thing that i made That's so great. that i can highlight every time uh, i think about submarines i hear the music from life aquatic with steve <laughs> so it's like some lovely fucking piano music like do -do 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 jack Cuso type music so Maybe there I'll are the two the hatches out that you can access. You can only see the nearer one there. Those two tanks that are painted red are red as well. And those are, there's some heavy pressurized tanks alongside a lit portal uh, on one of the hallways here. Uh, one of the corridors leading towards the center um, modules. Uh, and then of course the lights around the moon pool there. And you guys will be able to make a check to dock with either one, but uh, that's what Zavix and Warm see as uh, they make their approach and Zeef comes back up into the cockpit. Alright, so, so uh, when he sees the lights of the structure uh, in front of him, Warm immediately dims like the exterior lights um, of the sub so that cool. they kind of approach in secret and then kind of idles up close. Um, and he turns back around to Zeef behind him and says, uh, so, boss, uh, what do you what do you think is the best way to, you know, do you wanna do you wanna try the moon pool or do you think one of the hatches is a better bet? Well, uh, yeah, we should probably think about this. Do we have any sort of scanning capabilities on the transport? Can we sort of isolate which section of this prefab structure has the cell cath in it? Because I'm thinking if we like strategically flood the other sections, that gets rid of all the resistance, and then we just have that one pod left that he's in. So and it's only a transport, so I doubt it has some intense dedicated scan uh, sensors, but it's a Star Wars ship, so I'm sure it, sure it has some kind. And a computer's check can be made in a vehicle to make those kind of determinations. Uh, mm. And you or Warham or We're a group of you can make that. On the Master Jedi, or is he uh, back uh, on the shore? Your... Master Jedi, uh, are you able to use your lightsaber underwater? Yes. So you guys can also enter from various oh, points. You know what? Actually, before we move on, I'm going to, uh, while I'm sitting there in the back while they're discussing this, I'm going to do a Ford Sense uh, check to see if I feel anything out there. Absolutely. So um, right now, you guys haven't fully approached. Warham, how how close have you gotten yet? Because um, I know uh, you haven't bought how big the is upgrades the structure and sense. itself, I so, guess. Um, once you are inside, it is the size of a slide, but I'm going to say that those are like long length corridors. Um, the, I mean, the, I'm just trying to think like how far away like would we be able to see your, the lights and everything. You can see the lights of it around. They're pretty intense because it's so dark down here anyway. I would imagine but, a few hundred meters probably. A yeah. Meters I, away. If we can see the lights from that distance, it'd be kind of like where I'm holding. At. Okay. So, Zavix, I don't think you've bought the range upgrades for sense yet, so you have, to get, 
you have to get like right on top of this place before you're going to be able to like count the people inside um just uh you know just but if you're go here's a here's a concept if you're going to buy those upgrades i'll allow you to use them you know what i mean but you have to commit to making the purchase the next time XP is laid out, because I know you guys run into that with like wanting to use your force powers occasionally in ways that you haven't like opened them up yet, you know, not. Uh, so otherwise you can make that check. I'll, as, I'll wait off then. All right. Warren will make the piloting check first and then you'll make the sense check then instead of yep. the other way around. Um, but if you guys want to make a computer's check, you can try to scan it um, technologically before you make your sure. approach. I'll try and make a computer's or a computer scan. All right. All right. It's going to be a hard difficulty check um, with a. Well, there won't be a setback from the environment because you're in a submarine, so the sensors are designed to be scanning in this environment. Um, okay. There will be a setback because the place is shielded. You want to give me a boost, somebody? Misa going to give you a boost. I watch this one over here. Well, <laughs> watch this screen. Yeah, I got my stock eyes. One's looking at that screen. One's looking at that screen. Zeef helpfully monitors the fuel readout. There you go. Misa got a monitor the fuel readout. Oh, you don't know that. You there forgot the boost. You forgot the boost also. Oh, so go ahead. Just and kidding. Through. Misa not monitoring shit. <laughs> <laughs> right. No, Zeef, look at this screen. Okay. And you do. And add a whole other success and advantage. Zeef helps. As much as he possibly can, actually. Yeah, man. Look at that. So, uh, three success and two advantage. Uh, okay, so you detect that... I'm going to recolor some stuff. This square has a power source in it. Mm. There are life signs pretty much distributed across the entire place. Um, about two dozen by your count. Mostly reading in the range that would... Uh, probably be Quarren, um, but because you have advantage, you can pick out that uh, there's one uh, life signal that's reading differently. Uh, the like scan and the life forms are pretty much distributedly across the place uh, with the kind of distribution you'd expect. And there's from... no differentiation between life forms in this scan? Uh, you you can tell that one of them is slightly different than all the others, and he's in the room that I just highlighted in yellow. Okay. Yes. Um, these two containers are spice. Uh, so the sense uh, sense uh, the scan also reveals that there are also high concentrations of those same kind of like biological molecules. You know what I mean? That make up spice in like mm -hmm. sort of a sniffer type in these two compartments. That's what the computer sweep gives you. How about uh, could we spend a destiny to get like a docking tube on this transport, which we could like extend the wall and then Zavix could like cut out like a breaching hole? Sure. So what do you here's, think about that? I think that's, that's a worth a destiny point. Yeah. We okay. have him breach our hole in the container that Sully is in, and since it is connected to two different hallways we use the lightsaber to fill both those hallways with water to block off any escape route he might have, so he's trapped in that compartment. He, a fish, surrounded by squid, unable to <laughs> escape through the water. If you're in a pressurized oxygen environment and water is also rushing true. in at high not pressure, be... it does not matter oh, yeah, how, yeah. how well you no, can swim. I... <laughs> also, That's how Cal Kestis got away true. from Darth fucking Vader, all right? So if water will stop Fair him, enough. it's going to stop Sully the Selkath. You are, at least it should. You are correct. Yeah, it should. You're right. You're you're not wrong. I've seen Abyss enough times that I'm I'm gonna Love go in. Movie. Listen, if you if you yeah. breach water into this place, it's gonna go. It's gonna go ham. Don't worry about that. It'll be fun. But that's, if that's you're willing question. to use a destiny are these, point, are these prefab pods like pressurized independently? Like, will it fill up one but not the next one, like the Titanic kind of thing? It is. It is Star Wars. I am sure they have both heavy hatches and force fields on all of the doorways sure. and possibly halfway down the corridors if I want to use a destiny point. I can I can manipulate the water. We can manipulate the water in here like it's a Zelda temple if we <laughs> want to and we want to use the destiny points. And if we had Narset, we could do real fun stuff with it. I was going to say, considering considering that there's 
it's historically known that there's underwater beasties. I'm sure the Star Wars like mechanic like I got plenty mechanical of mechanical engineers. Yeah, like I'm sure they've I'm sure they've like built their submarines with this in mind. If you like, put, oh, if you put a big hole, ass fish bites the ship here. If you put a hole in the, the wall of it, a force field will or should automatically also, cover. Is it really a, a good idea the... to make your submersible look like a fish? Like I remember watching episode it's one and being in. like, this fucking the triangle thing with the tendrils in the back. I'm like, do you want your submarine to look like fucking bait? Like, it, it mean, yeah. Maybe it looks like a predator. It's a good idea or bad idea. Maybe it looks like a predator. And if you're going fishing, it's a great way to attract, you know, what you're trying to catch, I guess. It's probably a really effective design. But not Just when they're if, trying to go to the planet core. Exactly. The planet core's got really big monsters that you don't want to fly anything through kind of thing. Yeah. All right. Well, you guys are not dealing with a big monster, just a big drug lab. So... Hmm. What is your path of approach going to be? Because if you hang out here too long, eventually they might pick you up on their own scan. You know, right? So. Misa thinking we will have the best luck with a direct approach, trying to breach the container that Sully's in. Because um, you also want to like hack the planet in here and stuff. So are you trying to snatch Sully and also clear the like the Aqualush want to know like. So are we going in here, or are we taking everybody out, or are we just nabbing that's, this That's true. We can't cell just cat. abscond with him. We need to clear the place and then arrest him, because otherwise they're going to mount a rescue attempt, and then it just goes on and on and on. So we should just breach at one yeah. of the gates and just fight These our way to him, you know? absolutely need you to give them direction on their way through. They're not going to be able to independently operate. You have 12 right. Aqualesh, and... Like I, the only thing is, like, Zeef, uh, of... Zeef hits a button on the door and shuts the door between them and the pod behind them, so that he can just talk to Warm and Zavix real quick. Yeah, absolutely. They're it's like it's like the limo yeah. driver shutting the thing behind. <laughs> like, they're like, boss, we're gonna need some, we're gonna need a plan before we go in. We've not done. This. I mean, I think we should go for Sully first, just because then if we get him in custody, we we'll don't have to worry about him like getting away. That's true. Something. We might be able to get him to have the other stand down, and then yeah, we might be able to get the rest to you know give up or. You know, and then we'll something. we'll battle a uh, battle way our, our way out with him in and custody. Not, yeah, we, just, we have to get the rest of them, but you know, I'd say let's let's try and cut the head off the snake first. Okay, so Zeef opens the, opens the partition back up and steps back and tells, basically relays the plan to all the Aqualish that are gathered and says, "We're going to go directly in to the main room. We are not going to kill Sully. The plan is to take him alive. Um, it's going to get hot. There's a lot of other people in there. Um, be ready for a fight." But uh, we should go in. So after we nab the fish, then what? Um, How are we going to keep him? Well, hopefully, once we get the big fish, he'll tell all the little fish to stand down. Um, if that doesn't happen, we'll have to deal with that the hard way. But um, there could be evidence. Uh, there could be contraband. Drugs. There could be all kinds of things down there. We don't want to just hightail it out of there. So we are going to want to try and clear this lab out, probably. And Those drugs it. killed your brother. We're not going to make sure that doesn't happen to any other families. They say absolutely, yeah. we get that. So, all right, we'll just follow your lead once we're in there, I guess, boss. Um, Sounds good. All right, Warham, you're gonna have to come over and dock with this. All right, so I'm gonna spend the destiny to so we have like a boarding tube, basically, which we can extend to a wall. In this case, go for then, it. Like Zavix can like just cut right through. So right. you are piloting a silhouette four. Okay. Bongo, uh, probably at no more than a speed of two, you know, and probably not that much. Uh, it has minus one handling. That's a big uh, old okay. Bongo. And, uh, you know, for your piloting check, difficulty okay. to make your approach. Um, so the silhouette four turns into two, two purples, and the uh, speed of... Yeah, I mean, I, it'd probably be a fairly know. slow approach to try and remain undetected I would imagine but yeah uh, so and it's piloting planetary and that'll yes. get you snug up there um to get that uh, seal to success and an advantage you manage to slip that eel like bongo right through the dark waters up against the side you pull it up yes. along the long corridor there on that side of the yeah, that's lab, and then forward 
just to nestle the head and the first of these passenger bubbles against the corner of that, like the near inside corner of that large module so that uh, the plasma sphere that makes up the first of these transport bubbles behind the cab, um, one of the Aqualush moves over to a control on the wall and deep dutes on it, and then the plasma molds and morphs itself against the wall of the structure. Cool. Next to it, forming Gungan like a tunnel stuff, for yeah. them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's a Gungan yeah. bongo. So those pa- your bubble and the passenger are like plasma bubbles. They're not physical canopies. All right, so that field is there, and now Master Silverstar just needs to, you Cut know, through. make an entrance. Yeah, exactly. Do you want to make a sense check? Now that you're right up against this thing, you're just going to go through the wall? Okay. Um, All right, Master Jedi, you set up now. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll, uh, I'll take my lightsaber, it'll come out to my side, and then it'll float right up to the, uh, the hull, and then I'll turn it on while it's there and have it create a hole that's large enough for Worm and the rest of the team to kind of come through. Hell yeah. Now, right. it's, now uh, it's probably a check. Yeah. No, well, no it, I mentioned it's so, initiative, probably. <laughs> right. He's Yeah, it's going to be an initiative role for everybody is what it's going to be. But it's not a check to do it. As long as Zavix isn't trying to do something that just counts he couldn't as a flourish. do with his hands, it's just fluff. Nice. When he's trying to do something that his hands couldn't do, that then was, it's... That was some good fluff. Yeah, yeah it is. I, I, Anytime you guys like, no, I, I, my character does his thing that everyone else does, but with this certain style... Yeah, I want to hear about it. That's what makes them your character. Yeah, uh, that would make. You more cut sense open the me. door, and I didn't actually put in Sully. So give me a second. But he is in here. Damn it! Um, we got a bad tip. He's not even here. Shit! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no! Four, it's out, four just... hours of us flying the bongo around in the bay, looking for another building. This is a scientific <laughs> research station. What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> is he at this one? No. That was the I I populated the the <laughs> mook, but I didn't populate. The, um, he fell right into his trap. I didn't populate Sully in there. Uh, so, Zavix, you're standing in the circle of the door, and it is the cafeteria? Like, it's the mess hall, basically. Directly across from this hole you've cut, you see three Quarren that are seated on, like, ratty couches with a low table in front of them. Those other, there are three tables with benches uh, to your right, and then against the the rightmost wall, which is sort of furthest from where you've cut. Uh, there's a counter with food prep, like appliances. Uh, there is a closed, or there's an open doorway into a hall directly across from you. Um, and to your right, or to your left, there's a closed hat um, that you know is going to go to that long corridor uh, that the bongo is sort of parked along. Right. Um, Okay. Um, and let me put in your minis here so that we can. We got to roll initiative also for everybody. So no you guys yeah, can roll cool or vigilance, and these guys need to roll vigilant because they were not expecting this. So you all roll your cool, and then I'll ask you for it in just a second. Cool, cool. Like, like door so he can't open seal it. the doors or something, yeah, to prevent him from, from getting out. I can move like, a, uh, a starfighter if I wanted to. I can grab a deer. Yeah. Size not matters that. not. No, no, I know. I'm just saying, but like, because I think I think Lord said that. Okay, he, uh, but I mean, like, did you get the strength upgrades? Yeah. Oh yeah, I've okay, got it all good. the way up. Okay. Yeah, his move is really, really good. So. Nice. You can move. Oh, well, but move does hands. objects though. Binds. You need binds to move people. <laughs> and I have bind. Yeah. Makes me but think I mean, of like, uh, Wonder so Boy. I think, I think what Chris was saying was that, like, if if you wanted to, like, just make sure that he couldn't escape first, then you could do that also by sealing the exits. Depending on what the drug lab itself is like, if the drug lab itself has, like, you know, a parking structure or a garage that has mm-hmm. a ray shield, you could easily push people outside of the ray shield, and then they're just floating there fucking in free water. And that wouldn't kill them, too, so you wouldn't but take crazy obligation, because they are fish people. Yeah, yeah. Do yeah. It would effectively, it would effectively put them out of the fight if they're like out in the big ocean. It would be better to crush the 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 building, crush like the the, the pressure oh, tube. Yeah, shit. All right, yeah. are we ready to go and roll again? 
because we are, we'll do round one. We are rolling. Um, Chris is... But I mean to cut so. back from being off. You know what I mean? Because I imagine right. you're going to snip all of this. I will. Yeah. I will. I will. Really I hope snips. to keep our viewership from just dropping it. <laughs> I love the episode where they just fucking fucked around for ten minutes in the middle. Oh wait, that's every episode. Yeah. So, we need to so stop far, fucking least... around in the middle of our campaign. Season no, two, the when part. the when the game finally got good, you know, <laughs> it all changes in season two, motherfucker. Season two, when Mark the players when the players started playing. I'm doing my fucking pre-production on it. All right, fucking, uh, and so it's gonna have your, a story. Your... So I will Perfect. explain so how. I was gonna say I'll have to figure out yeah. how to print out a new one for, of mine. The uh, the Aqualish are currently broken into groups of four, but there's a lot of fucking Aqualish, more than you guys need. Um, but Sully. <laughs> Quick on his wits ever uh, gets the first initiative slot. Zavix, your lightsaber floating as of, of its own accord, moved by the currents of the force, and your will uh, cuts an entrance through the outer hull of this module, revealing the mess hall within. Uh, nice. There are a half dozen Quarren and Sully seated at the middle of the three tables there in the center of the room. Uh, he's got a couple of bottles in front of him, but he still stands immediately as the wall falls, revealing you and Zeke behind, uh, knocking the bench he was sitting on to the floor. He says, Zeke! And then looks to the court and says, get him! Before then taking two maneuvers and running straight out of the room. Uh, and into a destiny point if I could uh, to to interact before he does that. Are you going to what close the door? I imagine. Uh, yes. Or try to grab him. All right. So you want to? If you can, you're going to have to make an opposed check against his agility with your discipline to close the door before he gets through it. If you take the first player character round immediately after him, otherwise he gets through the door before or it shuts. Okay. Okay. He's trying to go through the door and close it, but you're trying to close it beforehand. So the difficulty for the discipline check you're going to take is your action to try to stop him. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Will be... Uh, it's going to be two reds and two purples. I can do it. Third All time's right. the charm, baby. Oh, yeah. Three hey. light side points. So with two of those, you can flick that button shut before he makes it through the door. And you can take away one of the two strain you're going to have to suffer with the other one uh, and you take one strain but you flick that door shut before Sully runs through it and he comes up short just before he slams into said door so <laughs> he is now trapped in the room with you that was your action for uh, the top of round one. My, do I still get to take a, a quick maneuver? You just, just still get to take a maneuver yes. or two if you want to take strain. Absolutely. You can move in a room or whatever. To throw in there and, too. and walk walk over to the side here to let everybody okay. pass me. Cool. As the uh, door slams shut in front of uh, Sully, Zeef calls out, Spencer Sullivan Pollock, Yusa under arrest! As the, as the uh, chaos the begins in the room. Three name call. He knows you're serious now. All right. Uh, Come with you, Sully. Well, the player characters all get to go before any of the minions get to react. So, uh, Zeef, you can go next. You know, because I don't think Warm's going to be the next man on the charge. Sure. No. I'll so, go last of the pieces. Yeah, that was your incidental, you know, to call out to him. But you, you know, have your maneuver and in an action. There are six horn. And in, I have you know, I line on. All six of them, or is it just these you green can see guys all in front? Them. Oh, okay, cool. You can see all of them. They're all standing or sitting at yeah, tables and one. chairs. What? There are two minion groups of Quarren in here, and they're both in medium range from you. Is going to do something kind of unexpected, and because no shots have been fired, he's going to do a uh, social check. Okay. You're going to make a leadership or... Whoa. Probably coercion check. Um, or negotiation. Yeah, coercion. I'm going to go you with know? coercion. I have skills to back that up as well. All right. Coercion or negotiation or leadership, probably. Okay. So you're going to coerce them into trying to get them to stand down? Uh, Zeef, Zeef is going to shout, is going to call out to all the cords of the room, you saw all accessories to this man's evil deeds, but if you stop now, 
Winston lets you leave the fight. You have you to give it one chance to surrender and one chance only. <laughs> Cox is Relby, Excellent. even though you don't cock a Relby, he just does it. <laughs> I love it. Okay, you so don't. The difficulty, the, the discipline yeah. of a minion group of three Quarren is going to be two reds for the difficulty of your check. Okay. Uh, there is also going to be a setback because their boss is in the room and they he did tell them to get you. You know what I mean? Are so they able to see said, how many yeah. Aqualish are behind me, or does it just look like me they and Zavix right now? They can't. It's just the tube. You're okay. behind okay. Zavix. So we don't have the full else. weight of the posse. Okay. Once um, you all come I in, have... they're going to come in behind you. You have Intimidating, I think, I... which can reduce. Yes, I was yeah, just looking through it. You have talents that are going to affect Yes, Intimidating. Um, I can suffer a number of strain to downgrade the difficulty of coercion checks or upgrade the difficulty when targeted by coercion. Um, I will take strain to downgrade the difficulty. Okay. Yeah. All right, here we go. Come on, dice. Figured. All right, so you do not succeed, but you have four advantage, so you can take a well, free you maneuver. Well, you have force receive, so you can reroll a coercion check. Oh, you can reroll oh, it if you want. To. That's true. Very good. I'm gonna do it one more time. And now might be the time to do it before this pops off. Is the time <laughs> to double down on making it happen. Zeef clears um, you his throat. Destiny, and says, "I said." Do you said... want to spend a destiny point? <laughs> yeah, do you want to spend a destiny point um, to turn one of your greens into a yellow? No, I have plans for the destiny points, and I'm not gonna spend them early just in case I need them for that. Please. So I'm just gonna okay. let this reroll be my next shot. So sure. Mis Misa said. You shall have one chance and one chance only to surrender. You still do not succeed. Not this succeed. time, <laughs> uh, this time you take two strain uh, to reflect the strain yourself. Z um, feels you um, for my maneuver. What's your maneuver be? I take a defensive stance. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna call it cover because that's the one that works for rain. Instead. Okay, but okay. that's fine. You uh, you sort of tuck yourself into the edge of the tube there. I get um, my response, and I'm like, God fucking damn it! Okay. okay. <laughs> um, Warham, what are you gonna do? Uh, I'll do. Um, I think I have. I have something for leadership. I think. Oh, nice! You're gonna follow suit. You're gonna make right? his beast you. Yes. Gonna, <laughs> please. Make no, he's Everyone's gonna, gonna wander out of the smoking. Yeah, the smoking, burning, rip, like ripped hole, saying like, "People, listen to me." Follow the next one. Everybody, lend me your ears. If you're gonna play peacemaker, you should have just knocked at the door. These are the weirdest no, Jehovah's Witnesses <laughs> ever. No, no, no. no, no Can I talk to you about the force? Uh, hey, to be fair, I was like, "We're here for blood," but you can surrender. Well, no, because I'm I'm on the sub with the, <laughs> with the aqua. Right? Yeah, so you can so tell can them do... get in there. Okay. Well, yeah, so I can do field commander, and I can give all of them a free maneuver Excellent. to get them out into the ship. Because otherwise they're not going to move Ahead of their the turn, you can move them during move. your yeah, turn. Yeah, they can immediately take a nice. free maneuver. The nice. Aqualus don't have turns. They're going to follow you into the room. So they are not okay. moving until you guys move. And then if you guys get triumphs, they will attack. But they're attached to you. I was going to explain it after uh, this room, but you guys didn't engage. This was just you, supposed to be like. Do you mean clear them. or do you mean all of us? I meant all of you. Oh, okay, okay. That's why there are Aqualash. I was going to explain so how I, they worked I after you cleared the first. You can. Gotcha. You can do that now. It's fine, Warm. I would have. They're not, I would have had them follow me into the room yet. before I made my speech if I'd known that. But it doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah, it's okay. I wasn't. I was. Well, I thought like, you guys no, were just going to wipe the room. And threaten them. They're like, all right, we're doing this the hard way. And that Warm's like, all right, boys. It totally Get makes sense. Yeah, no, so I like it. it. I like it. So let's do it. Yeah, send him in, right. Warm. Go for it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Make that field commander. For and ice then ball. they'll link up afterwards, you know? I haven't explained that mechanic yet. So I wasn't going to put it into play until after this room went down. But yeah, if you want him to clear the room. Average leadership. Right? Two purples? Yep. All right. Gambling, take your air down the left flank. <laughs> Both and fear no darkness. Three right. success. You can send all three of those minion groups into the room, which they do. They all charge through the portal um, into the yeah, room. So they don't understand the... staying behind the Jedi yet. Um, in fact, they're not so, all even all going to be able to get in right now. Well, so so it's a number of allies equal to presence can immediately suffer a strain. Uh, to perform one free maneuver. So okay, so well. I think 
They'll take that as a wound, but they can all move into the room. There's four I groups, think, right? yes, there, there, are, there are 12 of them. Right now, I've got three tokens on the board because it's going to get too crowded otherwise. Okay, you know? So, uh, but you can send them all in easily because okay. the minions Sorry, will either chop up into three or four. All right. Does anybody else want a free maneuver then also? Because I got four presents. I'll take one. You All can right. take a strain and now make a maneuver if you want to stay in front of these Aqualesh or something. But the yes. Aqualesh all charge forward, uh, forming a screen um, in between the hole that's been cut and the group of Quarren, um, who now uh, get in their turn to react. Um, because these Aqualesh have charged forward, they will be attacking them instead of you, the player character. So there's that. Sully's That's a sniper. Weird. I think we need to stay in close quarters with him. Yeah. Because if he gets away from us, he's going to take us out quick. Right. Or worse, yeah. take the high ground. Oh, God. <laughs> God forbid. It's the death. Or the Aqualish having charged forward are now at short range from the Quarrens who are seated at the couch, who use a maneuver to stand up and grab their sidearms <laughs> and take a shot. One of the corns shots lands uh, into one of your Aqualish posse members. Ah! He grunts, uh, but doesn't go down. It's not a tough son of a bee. powerful enough blast. These are some big, beefy dock workers, um, and it's not enough. But he does look pained by it, and he slumps into uh, the guy next to him from the shot. Drug lab workers are no match for angry stevedores. You guys should have all done some drugs from a different lab before you storm this place. Uh, the other corns at the table uh, do a little bit better, however, uh, as the guy, they open fire as well, um, but the guy standing at the counter uh, turns and just lines up a shot dead on one of your posse members and drops him. No. Uh, so one of the Aqualesh in the group that moved furthest to the right, uh, as it came through there, uh, by the boxes Zavix is standing next to, uh, goes down, ugh, slumping behind that table. Damn it, uh, you owe me 75 credits. I mean, loot the body. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So your debt paid, friend. I'll wait, I'll wait till his, like, cousins and brother aren't standing right here, but yeah, I will. <laughs> um, Alright, that is the bottom of round one. Alright, we've already taken a loss, but we've got Aqualish aplenty. Again, I'm not saying this in front of them. <laughs> then I shall die as one of them! Uh, what the you guys internal monologue separate. <laughs> yeah, what you guys talking about there? <laughs> really seems like it pertains to us. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking in Elvish for a reason. I know, right? And you bust, you bust <laughs> right it out at the perfect time. Then I shall die as one of them. Everything okay over there? What, uh, what's going on? <laughs> that's not, like... I was not thinking that one. That's absolutely that, that uh, the bear <laughs> meme. The puppet meme where he's like looking at the screen like, uh. <laughs> okay, round two. Uh, Sully is at the top of the initiative order. Um, you gave him the three name, you know, yell there. Uh, and somehow the door, which was supposed to close behind him uh, as he, you know, went to organize uh, a response to this, has instead slammed in his face. So he turns around. His boys are already up, and blaster fire has been exchanged. But you did, you know, say the easy way or the hard way, and his guys are just standing their ground. Um, I'm going to have him make a discipline check to determine if he's going to... Yeah, right. Is he going to play this hard, or is he going to... Was he scared? So you're trying to talk sense into him, but then you... Yeah. yeah. I try to talk sense into him. Okay, he stands down. What a wuss. <laughs> <laughs> He's what, do you, scared. what do you want him to do, Z? <laughs> what do you want him to do? Uh, I want right. him to have not have shot up my detective agency in the first place. So he's kind of screwed here. That's true. That's, I don't yeah. think I don't think he can please Zeef at this point. He can no, do his, he can hope for the yeah. best, but like I don't think Zeef's gonna be like you're my pal now, Sully. At any point. Yeah, he shot. But my you're the one who you are. Yeah. Set up. Mm -hmm. right, let's see if he. Everyone so get on the a, ground. You two, you've hold got hands. Twice as, 
twice as many guys as he has in the room and a Jedi. So I'm going to call that a three purple fear check for, um, you know, like a valid danger to health and well-being. Oh, he's definitely in danger. It seems reasonable. Yeah. Um, I think a Jedi gets an upgrade. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You, you know what? Yeah, you don't see many lightsabers, lightsaber. and you see even less purple. like pointed at you. So that is that is very that is very true. That is very true. Um, and we just entered through the wall. Yeah, we uh -huh. just Kool-Aided their shit. We created, we created your end. <laughs> so, uh, we can call that a setback. We can call that a setback then. Um, he's gonna get a boost because you did, like, you just, you, you just killed two of the guys and that's not gonna necessarily make him not want to fight you. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna call that a boost. Um, it's gonna be a yellow, two greens, and a boost against a red, two purples, and a setback. A pretty even hand for this fear check from Spencer Sully Pollock. And he succeeds. Uh, he takes a strain. Oh, he's he's got nerves of steel, this one. Uh, yeah, he does. But he narrows oh, the, 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 we'll the, beady, the beady Selkath eyes at the back of his long uh, catfish <laughs> head narrow uh, at you. Uh, and he goes for his sidearm. You notice he does not have his rifle with him because Didn't bring it to the cafeteria with him. He right? was having a Is drink. That a weirdo. Here. Yeah. So he just draws uh, what looks like a a pretty bulky blaster pistol, but still not the long arm that you know would put up. You know, a hole through you. It's not his like fifty these cal aquilash. that he just packs every day, right? Exactly. Uh, what kind of something. you are only at medium range from Sully, however, so wow. it's only going to be two purples. Do you okay. have a point of defense? You're in cover, so that'll give a point of defense, which is a setback. Do I, you have any talents that upgrade the difficulty of attacks against? Of attacks, I am. So I don't really have anything for defense of ranged. Okay. Do you want to spend a destiny point to turn one of his purples into a red? Uh, no. I, I got 21 wounds. I can, I can run okay. this. There's going to be a setback because all of the Aqualesh are screening you as well. Cool. Um, but other than that, all right, he's going to take his shot. Uh, three success. He hits you for 10 points of damage with Oof. a blast from his heavy blaster pistol. Is that after uh, he so? threads the needle. Uh, no, that's you soak that and then take wounds. After that, the the raw damage is ten points. Gotcha. Okay, so and five then you wounds. You soak it. Five. Yep. Okay. All right. Okay. It's gonna be like that, huh, Sully? Mm-hmm. With his maneuver, he slaps at the control panel for the door and steps backward through it, but he's not able to close it because he needed to open it. Wait, is there any way that I could uh, uh, close that back? If you want to use your action and try to out agility and discipline him again, you you've got to you've got to keep doing that every round. The door is not open with him behind. You could just bind ones. him where he is right now, too. I was oh, going to yeah, say you have right. a killer move. Yeah. You could just bring him over to our side real quick. Yeah, he I didn't could, like, get to, physically disarm like, him. He hasn't it actually gotten him. through it or anything. Yeah, so if you just want to bind him now, you can do no, that. I think uh, I think I'll bring him back to the. He just he just started a fight in here. I think I'm going to bring him back into this thing. So I'm going to bind him and pull him back towards us. Nice. All right, excellent. So you're going to make a discipline and force power <laughs> check to grab him, and then you're going to have to activate bind and move combined with mm -hmm. your pips. So you're going to need a bunch of pips. The difficulty, I'm going to call it a red-purple check because he's got a point of adversary, and you're trying to grab him and move him around. Uh, so that's like an attack in that way, but he's not going to be able to like resist it with his athletics or whatever because he doesn't know what the hell's going on. Gotcha. So, I think it's safe cool. to say Sully's never seen someone use the force before, right? Correct. So he just thinks Probably. that his door has chosen now to go on the fritz. Like, right All right. Out of the so <laughs> you got hella force. Yeah, exactly. Almost as many as you could. So you succeed. You nice. take a point of strain from the threat and you have four pips. Yeah, so, so I'll, I'll grab him, bring him back uh, towards the force, uh, or sorry, towards, uh, towards us. And uh, almost as if his body were a shield between us and the blaster fire. So he's just like hovering there just in front of the, uh, the your Aquilesh guys who haven't attacked yet. They've just sort of like moved up 
they're waiting for Zeef to t make the first shot, basically. Yeah. You know, because he's the sheriff right, so right and they're the posse. Right. They they actually like part so that something can, can float through. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they're like super right, what confused, the and so are the quarry. <laughs> like the gunfire does stop in this moment. Uh, and Zeef, now you can try that social check. <laughs> you want to get a trip, buddy? Damn, yeah, what you is know it what? Gungans yeah. turning firefights into fucking conversation. You took you took games. a shot to the chest, and now you're gonna <coughs> make it's peace. It's the okay. biggest flex. Trying to say. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, so uh, I'm gonna take a maneuver to stim myself if I can, just real quick. Yeah. yeah just, I mean, you pull it out of your pouch yeah. incidentally, and then you jam it into your quad, and it heals five wounds. Excellent, and then I will just. I was just. I was just scrolling up to see if I had found the you right corrosion oh, check. What his difficulty it is? Easy. It was. It was red purple setback because I had a talent in play that downgraded one of the per, one of the reds to a purple. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, but I'm saying now that we have Sully kind of in custody, you could probably make it against the the Quarren to like stand down, as opposed to that's, like the that's, leader. That's that true. was red purple. That's what it was before. Against the core. Yeah, that's what it was before. Because Sully's discipline is a lot higher. That's what I. I just, I just verbally said. I just narratively I said, for, uh, "Sully, you're under check. arrest." But then my check yeah. was for the corn to surrender because they weren't part yeah. of it. So you, now you've actually nabbed him, mm -hmm. and you can say, "Sully, you're under arrest." You know, as like a fact, but also have that be your check against the corn again. The difficulty for whatever kind of check you're going to make is again a red purple and this time not a setback but a boost because you've nabbed their boss zeep is going to indicate to the floating cell calf who's struggling wildly past him over his shoulders like one last chance you should give up now you don't have to die today like you you see this we we still got a jedi like you, you see this right like give up just give up the fight all right here we go the Quarren um, look like they're waiting for Sully to, you know, tell them what's up, actually. Maybe I should have done the check on Sully you, again. Either of you gentlemen who are here, uh, you or Zavix, I want you both to make um, a three purple and two setback perception check. Okay. Uh, my perception is only two greens. All right, Zeef, now you're going to have to make an agility check against two reds and two purples as you see even as he struggles that in the hand that doesn't have the blaster pistol sully has a detonator and his Ugh, thumb is that. just coming down to trigger the dead man's button you sly can you fucking catfish a, here we can go you make a check to stop him before he activates oh uh, what's my difficulty uh it is two reds and two purples for your athletics against his Can I get a athletics. boost? A boost from anybody? Is that Yeah, cool? I'll boost you. Cool. It's athletics or coordination for you, you know, oh, he's using his best to, to athletics, athletics You is didn't see, stronger. so you can't make a check to actually stop him, Zavix, but Zeef did, but so he's going to try, but you can boost him. Well, you're getting to boost. If you had seen, then you'd be able to use the force to freeze him entirely. That's why you both made the check. Zeef saw, sense. so now he's going to try to grab his hand instead, kind of thing. So but he's um, struggling against your bind, and if he can trigger this, then when he lets go, this whole place goes up. Yeah, because exactly. he's still bound. Okay, I'm yes, going to roll exactly. these dice. But he's just try. I used the destiny point to make it happen. Okay, I'm going to roll these dice, but before I do, narratively, this is canon. What, what, however they shake out, Zeef goes, No! <laughs> and reaches in slow motion, and then... Yes! Nice. You take a strain, but you get your hand around his hand and stop his thumb, and you feel Zavix tighten whatever constriction he has nice. Sully under, and his thumb is stuck up with the button of Gil's detonator unpressed in his hand. Uh, he can't respond because he's being held uh, right now quite tightly after attempting this you know sneaky maneuver but you you should have known man if gil and sully and dylon had been here 
had oh, it would have been of it. course the whole place is rigged to blow up you probably would have seen the bombs from outside if you had looked before you uh, came in but you know it's been a while mm. but in retrospect it's so just so obvious right but you you managed to pry the detonator from Sully's grip and then his hand tightens into a fist afterwards I'm going to uh, disarm, just like switch off the detonator and then add it to my inventory, put it in my pocket. Uh, you're going to have to make a mechanics check okay. to accurately, like this is live and once you push the button, when you release the button, it blows up. But to actually turn it off of that mode, you're going to have to make a check to do that too. Do I have to make a check like a to put it in my pocket live? To make a mat, you know, you have to make a check to deactivate it from okay. being primed to blow up, kind okay. of to safely put it back into safe mode. Now that it's like he's got it in. Once I push this, I let it go and it blows up. And to turn it off from that mode, there's like another combination that somebody is going to have to suss out. Might not be for Zeef to actually do, kind no. of thing. This is like now a an EOD. Okay, situation. well then I am not going to make a check and I'm just going to very carefully place it in my pocket live. Yeah. <laughs> and, let it, and let it rattle Just like around in me. your top pocket with the yeah. buttons? No no no, 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 like inner breast pocket of the trench coat, so it's protected, okay. you know. I'm not okay. a madman. I'm going to put this live right, detonator right. in there, but I'm going to do it carefully. <laughs> okay, excellent. Good. It's definitely not time to make the check to safe the detonator before you walk around the bomb. You know the. You can, can trust me. Me's at the marshal. Okay. Fair enough. Same um, the first rodeo. Totally is. Okay. Well, you've stopped that, and Sully is struggling. Um, the Quarren, seeing now that even Plan B for bombs has failed. You know, Plan A for attack has gone sideways. Plan B for bombs has also failed. Let's get out of so, here before Plan P, guys. They. <laughs> They put their blasters down and go with plan C, which is capitulate. Um, and <laughs> this first room is at least stood down. It is, however, the mess hall. So you don't have control of this place in any way, shape, or form. Um, but there was very little blaster fire, only really a few couple of shots. And um, remarkably, all of the adjoining spaces through open doors uh, are also empty uh, at the moment. So. Nice. You've done this relatively cleanly for all of the derping around. That Good it took. covert operation. You know, yeah, so that's round two in the book kind of thing. And we don't have to continue in initiative until you reach new guys. And then we can kind of re-roll if you want to do it that way. If you want to, like, stealth your way around here, making sense checks to see how the next room is. We don't have to continue in, like... Combat music ends now because you clear like... this room and there's not a next immediate fight. Or we can stay in initiative order as we go through the whole place. Dan? So I was actually thinking, what if we just like get on like the one MC for the station and be like, yeah, hey, uh, we, have a, we have a switch that puts up the whole thing. We recommend you leave now because we're going to set it off in 30 minutes or something. And then, yeah, basically say yeah. that we have we have <laughs> control, and uh, we'll be blowing this place in you know ten minutes. Uh, I, I say that I'm gonna throw uh, a Sully inside of the pod, uh, and not throw him in, but uh, we gotta we gotta restrain Two him. Two aqu- Sully is still holding a blaster aqu- pistol. Aqu- yes, yeah, he's still holding a blaster pistol. Well, you guys have binders, and you have yeah, the ability got, see, to one, manipulate his. All right. Well, so I have, let's get... I have my uh, color ramp. I can plug into any sound system, like yeah. in things. So, yeah, so Warm's just... going to make that check. Zeef and Z- Zavix and Zeef busy themselves with the gradual unbinding and then binding with binders of Sully, who is then secured in the bongo between four of the Aqualash. They are. They just have him in the middle of four of them in the rearmost pod. Know. And then they're just going to wait. Uh, another four Aqualesh are standing right outside the doorway that you cut through. And the remaining three Aqualesh are going to proceed with you guys through the rest of the station if things go sideways. Warham, meanwhile, 
gets his collar amp wired into the local intercom panel uh, and is going to make a social check to try to get everybody to stand dead. Could you uh, bellow into the intercom to incapacitate everyone that's near a speaker? That's plan B for bellow. Plan A <laughs> is that's plan Y for attempts to get people to is it, surrender. Is it, a, is it a volume thing or is it like an air pressure thing? I always thought it was like a sub sonar, like a, it was the waves were disrupting you, you know? Yeah. Maybe you can create some sort of, uh, uh, yeah, beta wave little or something. Little column like. auric, little so, column um, bash. Before, before going down the, nice, before going down the hallway with Zavix, um, Zeef is going to turn to two of the four Aqualish standing at the cut door and a motion for them to follow him over to the body of the fallen Aqualish, who, the one guy who died in the mm -hmm. fight, basically. Oh. Um, and he's going to take out about 250 credits, give it to one of the two Aqualish, and he's going to say, make sure that Bertie puts a plaque behind the bar for this man. He's a hero for the town. And, uh, and then he's They make sure to put him in the forwardmost of the pod, right behind the cabin. I was going to say, Zeef then helps the two Aqualish carry him back to the thing before meeting back up Excellent. with, with Zavix. Cool. Um, before, before you guys proceed through this place, we're going to have Warm make his check to see if we can get the other guys to stand down. These guys guarding the door are also guarding these six corn. We're like, if you're going to blow this place up, uh, you're, you're actually going to let us leave, uh, right? Right. <laughs> mm. Don't push uh, your luck. Master Jedi, if you don't, you're going to take so much conflict. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like well, 25 if they, people. If they, if they behave. 250 conflict. If they behave, hopefully oh, they don't. Okay. So it's only 120. To to... It's only 125 now. That's fine. Um, no. So what kind of check are we thinking with this? Uh, it's going to be a coercion check because okay. you're threatening them with blowing them up, which you may so or may not actually right, do. Get, uh, some you skill to blow them up. Then, you're going to blow up the place, and they should leave. Is what you're saying, right? That's a threat. That's coercion. <laughs> Um, I, mean, it could be, I'm, I was thinking more like it's the damn like, truth, so it's a negotiation. Yeah, I mean, well, I was, here? I was thinking we would, um, you know, take everyone into custody, retrieve all the spice, all the contraband, all the evidence, and then as we're leaving, we blow the place. We're still gonna need a bigger bongo. Well, sure. I and mean, yeah, that's true. There's 25 people. I could fit them all into one pod. Well, they're all they're quarons. We could tie them up and drag them behind. We could kill all these motherfuckers, and they'll be fine. <laughs> That is aquatic. <laughs> no, that's very. You can strap them to the outside yeah. like, like you're. We're just strap them like, like, like fucking luggage to the side of the bongo true. and just that's hold true. them back up. You comes up and eats them all <laughs> off the back. We don't realize we just created a massive lure and now we're in trouble. <laughs> all right, Any um, spice that isn't evacuated from the lab when you destroy it definitely enters the ecosystem of the planet <laughs> and gets. <laughs> added into whatever's going on the down there in the rough. Yeah, yeah, oh god. <laughs> it's pure uncut. Alright, um so Warham, you're going to be coercing these okay. guys. The discipline right. of the Quarren is again two reds. Her minion group of three, it is two reds, you know? So there are twenty uh there are 18 of them, other than the ones in this room. So that makes it 16 reds and two purples. Nice. No. You'll just, you, each, each group of guys will like look among each other or like, are we going to believe this or not? So you only have to beat the discipline of each clutch of three quarren, you know, collectively. All right. Can I get uh, some uh, skilled assistance from Zeef? Uh, yes, he indeed. Two ranks, right? You got two ranks in coercion? I have got... two ranks in coercion. Right. Honestly, it should be a lot more than that to clear the whole place out, but it's not formidable because they know the place is wired to blow, and if that's you're war like, or, yeah, yeah, right, like, it's not it's coercion, but it's not, like, that's why it's not deception, because they know it's fucking true, but right. it's a threat, and they There's... might not just back down. They might be like, fuck them, we're gonna kill them, and you know. Take it back, yeah. Exactly. Well, the difference between coercion and deception is they can see the gun. Pretty much, you know. Yeah. yeah. It's like hand right. in they the pocket versus hand out of the pocket, robbing. Someone. Exactly. So that's yeah, it's coercion. They've got discipline, but that's all you've got to be. Uh, two reds, you said. It is two reds. Yes, right. that is correct. Failure. Bunch of advantage though. A bunch of advantage though that you can use, but Warren um, gets on the speaker and his voice cracks. Everyone on the stage. You are uh, one of the yeah one of the um <laughs> well no one of the quarren over at the table sort of 
gives a dry chuckle and shakes his head and he goes, You don't understand. We work for the Karkaro brother. There's nothing, nothing you could do to us that they wouldn't be worse than. You ever met, dog? You ever met Dinsdale? They're the biggest things in the ocean, man. I don't care how shiny your lightsaber is, mister. Their teeth are sharper and shiny. I take my lightsaber and it floats up and it floats directly up to his head. And I tell him to say that again. (laughs) All right. You take eight conflict for doing that. (laughs) And now you can, now you can make, (laughs) you go six. (laughs) Is this an, oh, you 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 just shot at me. I can put it. I can put a a lightsaber up to his head. All right. Fair enough. I'm not looking yeah, at the table right now. This is Jedi, just Jedi sternness. sternness. This is just um, go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead and make. Go ahead and make a coercion check against two reds. Got a lot of coercion today. Can I give him a boost? You can get. You can get an upgrade on top of whatever your skill is because you're holding a lightsaber to the gentleman's forehead. I think I have a uh, talent that lets me uh, assist in someone else's coercion checks. You do. I- you do. I believe it's called loom. Yes, I would no. like to loom next to the you lightsaber. You loom in the I background, guess, like... and it gives another. <laughs> it gives another upgrade. I believe. Is, oh, so is upgrade the blue? No, upgrade turns a green into a yellow. Gotcha. Yeah. So okay, it's like two nice. free skill ranks: one from the lightsaber and one from Zeef. There we go. Success. His, his black core and eyes get enormous. Uh, in his face as the he lightsaber approaches. Um, he looks he looks from the lightsaber to Warham a couple of times until Warham like pushes the button on the intercom panel. Uh, <laughs> and he goes, They're not criffing around, guys. Just get out of here. Maybe the brothers will think we all died in the place. Nicely done. Whoa. But you do, do they- still take the conflict. Okay. Yeah. That, Worth I it. mean, you threatened this man with your lightsaber. That's not what a Jedi <laughs> is supposed to do. You take conflict for it. I'm wondering how you know, I employed If you don't loom. do things that Jedi are supposed to do, according to, like, the good Jedi of the movies, whether it's hypocritical or not, or however yeah. logical or not it is, the game also follows the light side and the dark side as defined by Star Wars. So yeah. that's not yeah, a that light side sense. thing to do and you take no. conflict for it. I like Very to think that up. my my boost <laughs> manifested in you had the saber float across the room and then Zeef is just like, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> They're like, I can tip it with my tongue from here yeah. and it would go yeah. right through your forehead. <laughs> <laughs> the Gungan tongue intimidation. 